Hi everyone and uh, welcome. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how to make a set of Cornell nodes uh, using Google Docs as my starting document. Now Cornell Notes is actually a really well-known way of uh, taking notes and the great thing about Cornell Notes is that they are proven to be highly effective. So here I have uh, a Google Doc note, it's it's open and it's ready, it's just completely blank and hopefully by taking these notes uh, in this way you'll be able to prepare better for a quiz, maybe understand the material better. Now there's a few steps that, w that you actually need to do in order to, um, uh, in order to prepare for your actual note taking before you take your notes. So what you need to do is uh, you need to find the insert table function and you need uh, six boxes and what you then need to do is you need to merge the cells so I've just done the right mouse button I've merged the cells at the top and I've merged the cells at the bottom so I've basically got uh, a top level which goes all the way across and then uh, two sections which are left and right in the middle and uh, then I've got a section over here. So this is actually uh, a section where I'm able to uh, have enough room to write and also I need to have room to write uh, at the bottom. Now if you don't leave room at, uh, in these places, what's going to happen is you're actually going to get pretty irritated because you won't be able to fit all the notes on your paper. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to zoom out uh, a little bit and I will move the uh, move the tables down so I've got a little more space to write all of my notes down. Uh, you may need to uh, just adjust the settings on your uh, on your page just to make sure that everything fits uh, nicely and smoothly. Okay, so just make sure that I've got enough space over here. There we go. Um, actually, I'm going to just shorten this and you'll see why in a second. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to move this panel just a little bit to the left hand side. Okay, now if you feel as though you need extra room, uh, if, you're, if your uh, printer can stand it, you can actually change the margins as well. So I'm just going to do that just to show you that you can indeed get a little more space out of, out of this. I'm just going to move this a little bit down, just push the margin, there we go. If it skips over, you just skip it back. I think that's okay now. <clears throat> right, so what you need to do is you need to uh, write the topic uh, that you are choosing to do and write the name and uh, date at the top. So I'm going to choose uh, a topic that we are doing in biology and that topic is water uptake. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch back to my Cornell notes. Okay, I'm just going to uh, write the topic name. So it's going to be water uptake. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, just put my name here. If calm. Okay, I'm going to put today's date. Now today's date is April 2nd, so April. 2020. Now you're going to put your name at the top and the topic and uh, the reason why is because if you ever lose your notes you can actually uh, relocate your notes. I also like to uh, like to place um, the page number that it's on now. What you could do is just to just to speed things up you could just say page page one. So we're going to do that. Okay. Uh, just double check the margins again just make sure everything is uh, is set. And that's pretty much it for the uh, for the format. Um, what you can do is you can duplicate the uh, page. I'm just going to duplicate the page. I'm just going to put page two now. What you could do is you could actually have uh, page headers, and uh, you can actually have all page footers, and you can actually have the, um, the the page numbers there. But I'm just trying to show you how um, how how it actually works. So the large box, the box on this side, this one over here, is the box that you want to use for notes and uh, drawings. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to how to do that effectively because it will save you a lot of time um, writing uh, and what you want to do is you want to actually have notes that are um, pertinent to the actual topic that you want to be studying so less time writing less time drawing more time actually looking at the information is what I'm interested in so the great thing about Cornell notes is that you can have lots of different ideas on the same page but at the same time um, 
uh, you what you need to do is you need to make sure that you skip each of the ideas by leaving a gap or uh, maybe just doing a little line underneath just to just to make sure that you're clear as to when an idea starts and when an idea ends and uh, the great thing also is that you can actually abbreviate this as and when you need so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip to uh, one of the videos that um, uh, one of the videos that uh, I've asked you to watch and that's the color changing celery experiment. I'm just gonna go. And we can say that uh, suitable plant. So use is celery. Okay. Now we can go back to uh, the celery and we can actually have a nice little uh, picture if you really wanted to remember what the picture was. Then you can just take a quick picture and uh, skip back and you can stick it in there. Okay, so that'd be quite useful. Nice visual way of remembering what uh, that plant is. So the idea is on this side, what you need to do is you need to turn that information um, into uh, a series of facts on the right hand side. But on the left hand side, what you need to do is you need to come up with um, the main ideas, maybe key points, uh, important people, if you're doing anything on the history of science, um, and just basically try and turn that into prompts, into questions. So for something as simple as this, I'm going to say plant suitable uh, to demonstrate, uh, to demonstrate water uptake. That is what uh, what we are doing. So what we could do is we can even shorten that suitable plant. Okay, so we can just leave that as it is. So the prompt is entirely up to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut celery out completely. I'm just going to keep the picture there just to keep it. So there's different ways in which you can actually interpret this. Okay. So then you can actually go back to that video. Now the video is great because it actually talks about how celery is crunchy, it's good for you now, is we can just take some of those facts and over here we can now say equipment needed. Okay, or you could just say equipment, right? So we can now just put um, a list. So we had a spoon, we had dark food coloring, times two, we had our celery, we had, uh, there was a bottle, bottle of water, okay, and there was uh, a glass, okay, and I think that was it. So then what we can do is we can continue playing the video, can you actually, so you can actually see that you're just literally lifting uh, all of the most important um, pieces of information, okay. And now what we're doing is we can say method um, so on this side we can say um, that we colored the water color color water with coloring um, cut celery to suitable size now we go back to the video. So what you need to do is you need to cut off the bottom edge of the celery stalk. So the celery, okay. Um, so cut celery at the end to uh, keep it fresh. Okay. So you just continue doing that until you have all of the key ideas all of the vocabulary that you need to have on the left hand side and you just put your notes on the right hand side so all the important stuff uh is has has um has has is broken down into different sections those sections are labeled on the left and then on the right hand side you can put uh the notes now the bottom section is really for a summary okay this is a summary okay so what you'd have to do is you'd have to watch the video uh, and you just have a few sentences that sum up key points, right? So I'm going to pretend that we've seen the video 
So the, uh, the video actually shows us uh, how water is moving up the plant through the plant xylem, okay? So water is transported up through a plant from the roots to the other parts of the plant. This takes place through silent tubes. Okay, so that's just like a, and you can continue to uh, summarize uh, your uh, your thoughts after that. Okay, so. That's that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do in order to uh, put together some Cornell notes. OK, and I hope that has helped you with the assignment that I set this week. OK, thanks for watching. Good luck with your notes. Oh, and oh, before I forget, what you must make sure is when you are actually revising, you reread your notes that are on the right hand side column and you focus on understanding the ideas that are in the left hand side column. The key ideas are the most important things. Um, you will likely to see the key ideas if you have an exam or a test coming up. OK, so. Make sure when you're studying that you reread all of these examples and you reread the, the uh, summary that you've made at the bottom. That's, that summary is there just in case, like say for example, you have to summarize all of the ideas in three or four sentences. Don't make it extensive. Don't copy and paste extensively. Um, just make sure that all of your ideas are there and it's all summarized. And that's pretty much it. You've got a great set of notes. You've actively learned and you've got a great set of notes to revise from. Um, what you could do when you are uh, revising is you could completely hide the right hand side so it will look like this uh, as you fold the paper and then what you do is you just basically um, rewrite from memory after you've revised it all of the ideas that you have on the right hand side and eventually I'm hoping it will end up uh, looking a little bit like what we had before. Okay, all right, take care. Stay safe. Bye.